All right, so good evening. It's Sunday, August 30th, and we're about to launch week two of the Open Flip course. So it's up here in the menu, schedule unit two. And here we go. So uh, we're now on the second pillar. All the details are here above, but now we're into the meat. Second pillar intro video, doing it right now. Uh, discussion, well, that's going to be on Wednesday, 7 p.m. as before. Again, whether you're in the English cohort or the Spanish cohort, if you're bilingual or kind of bilingual, feel free to come to either and watch the videos of both. And then, so week two tasks, our pillar is learning culture. And uh, here's a link uh, to the flip learning pillars. And then this is the text of the second pillar. And I want you to consider these points. I give students opportunities to engage in meaningful activities without the teacher being central. I scaffold these activities and make them accessible to all students through differentiation of feedback. And then some recommended reading. So um, a video I've used so many times that talks, uh, Hack Schooling by Logan LaPlante. You can actually, uh, if you dig, you'll find his follow-up video, which he did later in life. He was uh, quite young then. And then Do Kids Always Have to Be Challenged in Subjects? This is a really short post by George Koros. I'd like to point out um, the work of George Follow him definitely. George is a good follow. So is his uh, brother, Alec Koros. I've shared Alec's work a lot as well. Um, my my work is more close to Alec as we're both at uh, university level and George more at K twelve level. And then our colleague Robert Talbert, who's an expert in flip learning for higher education and has read uh, written a book on the topic. Uh, he, this is a look back post actually, and, I, and this is the deeper one. Students can't actually learn on their own, can they? And if you go and look at that one, I'll just quickly point out, it, it's actually a throwback article from 2014, so quite a while ago, um, but it, it's still valid. And he brought it out just recently this month uh, as a flip back article. And then again, remember you could discuss below this post in the comments, you could uh, post on Twitter using the hashtag uh, openflip. You could join our conversation on the Facebook post, which actually I should link here. I'm going to, I'll send the link to the Facebook post in the email. I've got the email all ready to go. And join us. Join us on Wednesday in English or Thursday in Spanish. And uh, I hope to see you. I hope to see your posts uh, quickly. Those that are still suffering a little bit on Blogger, here I am logged into Blogger. Some of you gave me this, this URL here. This doesn't help me because this is me logged into Blogger. There's a little link down here at the bottom where it says view blog. That's the one you want to send me. Um, my friend Laura said that I can actually load that up. I'm smart. I can kind of figure out from this magic code where your blog post is. But if you send me this link, um, for example, mine's kennethbower.blogspot.com that's the link I need to be able to see your blog posts, okay? Uh, for WordPress, I'm not too worried because if you send me this link, well, actually the right link is inside of there. And Medium, it's easy to figure out as well. So it's mainly for the people that are in Blogger. This blogger.com link doesn't work. It should be something.blogspot.com. That's what I'm looking for, and it's linked right there, all right? Have an excellent week, and uh, I hope to see you online.